What's up guys, Bradley here from Bradley's Tech Life. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my PC setup, a tour of my setup or what it looks like at the moment. Um, I tend to change it quite a bit. So this is what it looks like at the moment. Um, so I've basically got a dual monitor setup with a third TV, not quite a monitor, but the TV is used for entertainment purposes, but I will get to, well, I'll explain that later on in the video. So anyway, let's get started. So up on the right hand side, I've got a LG Flatron IPS 234 LED display. Damn, what a long ass name. Um, basically, this monitor is used for checking my PC temps, uh, being on Discord, uh, TeamSpeak, checking. Uh, it's basically my secondary monitor, if I can put it like that. Um, that I use for uh, everything that is not my main monitor. <laughs> so next to that I have got my Dell ST2420LB 24 inch LCD monitor. This is my main display that I use for all my gaming and uh, content creation and all sorts of things like that. Not a bad monitor. Um, the only complaint that I actually have about it is that it's also not an IPS monitor. The IPS monitor and a normal LCD monitor, the, their whites tend to, to differ quite a bit. So I can actually see the difference between my two monitors. It's not all that annoying, but um, uh, it's just something that I have to get used to or eventually I will get uh, two of the same monitors um, sell these and, and get two of the same yeah so uh, it's not too bad so up next is my Xbox 360 controller that I use for some games uh, games like uh, Shadow of Mordor that I tend to play I use this mainly on my on my TV um, for when I'm just chilling lying in bed playing some games uh, it's perfect because it's um, wireless so I, I tend to only use it really on the TV but some games they I, I prefer to play them on a controller instead of a mouse and keyboard look I'm a sole PC gamer but sometimes it's it's just better to use a controller for them so it's also um, quite nice to have something like a controller for for other uses um, yeah so up next is my keyboard which I have got the Genius uh, GX Gaming K20 keyboard. I've had this keyboard for about 4 years and honestly I don't have too many complaints about it. Um, it's not an RGB keyboard, uh, the lighting that you see has got 3 different lighting effects. Um, one is sort of like a dim, then a 50% brightness, then a 100% brightness and a breathing effect. So it's not RGB, but it does have like the multicolored uh, LED kind of thing. The only thing I can really, the, the cons that I could say about this keyboard is that over time, look, I've had this keyboard for a number of years already, but over time, the keys tend to get very, if I could say resistant to pressing them. They, they're quite difficult to press over time, but it is still a very good keyboard. I really like the multimedia keys that it comes with and the specific lighting options that it comes with as well. Um, in the time of purchasing this, there wasn't really much of RGB out there and if there were, they were extremely expensive. Um, the lighting of this though is extremely bright so I tend to not use it at 100% brightness because it physically blinds me. <laughs> so up next is my mouse. My I've got a Genius Morris X mouse that I use. It's quite a really good mouse. Um, it's got up to a 4000 dpi, it's got onboard memory to create sort of macros, it's got two macro binding keys but you can physically change any key on the mouse to do whatever you would like it to do. Um, it's got 
the middle mouse button just under the middle mouse button has got a dpi function to hot swap your dpi settings it's got breathing effects on the mouse you can set the intensity of the lights it's got a, a gold plated usb sleeved cable a very good quality and i've had this mouse for about five years and i still have no complaints about the mouse um, under the mouse I've also got a Genius GX um, mouse pad that is you get a speed, the speed mouse pad and the control mouse pad. Um, I tend to like the control over the speed. The speed has got more of a slippery surface where this is more um, grip like which I tend to like uh, better than the speed. So up next is my USB charging hub that I charge all my devices through. It's a four port USB hub that is made by Rocat um, or Rocat. I don't know how to pronounce it or I've heard so many different pronunciations of it, but I still don't know the difference. It's the same thing. Um, underneath it, I've got a Rocat uh, mouse pad that I use uh, just for putting something like my drinks on or whatever that creates some moisture. Um, as you see, I've got a glass table underneath me, so it tends to make marks if there's no mouse pad or uh, something like that. It's very convenient for me as I have a lot of devices that need to get charged and this is perfect for it. I can charge all my devices in one spot, don't need to have many, many charges and and all sorts of things and it's perfect to to keep everything charged right here by me so that's pretty much the basics of my peripherals and up next is the thing that's powering all my pixels my pc starting off with the case i have the p400s tg edition by fantex it's a really amazing case with fan control and rgb control i have also bought a two meter RGB LED strip that I have attached to under the table to give my lighting effects as you see in the pictures. My motherboard I have got a MSI Z170A Crate Gaming motherboard um, which is quite an amazing motherboard. I have gone for a black and white design um, as the rest of the stuff will be RGB controlled. I have got 16 gigs of HyperX 2400 MHz DDR4 RAM with a Core i5-6400 CPU that I will be definitely upgrading sometime in the near future. Uh, cooling my i5 is a Rangitec 240ml AIO liquid cooler and definitely does the job. I have seen a lot of complaints about this cooler but me personally I do not have any complaints about it and it keeps my PC idle at 25 to 27 degrees Celsius, which is not bad whatsoever. The thing pushing out all these pixels is my NVIDIA GTX 1060. I have the 6 gig variant from MSI and it is a really amazing card. I have got a 275 gig SSD from Crucial and a total of 3 terabytes in HDD storage. Now up for my exhaust fan, I've got a white Bitphoenix 120mm fan with a Fantex RGB frame on it that I bought just to test out to see what it would be like and it is now integrated with my RGB strips. It works extremely well and I tend to buy at least another 4 more for my AIO cooler and the two top exhaust fans on my case. It's a really amazing RGB frame and I really like it. So next up is my TV. I've got a 40 inch Blaupunk TV on the left hand side of my PC case as it is right across my bed that I tend to lie in bed and play games on. Um, it's really amazing to play games on especially if you have a wireless controller. What I have not spoken about either is my Logitech 2.1 sound system. Um, it is really old but it's still I just really use it for movies nowadays, not all that much, um, I mainly use my headphones. So as you've seen, uh, my wallpapers move and this can be done through a program called Wallpaper Engine that you can purchase from Steam, it's really great. Next up, standing on top of my PC is my Huawei B315 
LTE router. You can connect up to 12 devices to it and the Wi-Fi signal can go up to about 250 meters if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's really great, don't have any complaints about it. And the cool thing is, is that it gets cooled by my exhaust fans of my PC case. So that's my setup guys, thanks for watching so much, please hit that subscribe button for my next videos that will be coming up shortly. And give that video a like, give it a dislike if you disliked it, and I will see you guys in the next one.